our lives. Uh, I feel like preaching in the Holy Ghost. I want to lose for a topic uh, to disseminate airbelly effectively, proficiently, uh, and adequately in this atmosphere. Kiss me again, Judas. Uh, uh, I just confuse the church right there. Uh, every now and then you've got to challenge the enemy in your life. Uh, you've got to tell him, repeat it, and do it one more time. Uh, just to check your validity and your authenticity uh, in God. Amen? Amen. Glory be to Jesus. Let me step on into this particular text that Luke finds himself ably petting and releasing into the hearing of its readers. We find that Jesus is now dealing with Passover. This is um, very interesting and very intriguing to those of us who find ourselves Christologically inclined. The reason that it is so intriguing because uh, it serves as an immediate metaphor. It serves as an immediate cast and shadow type uh, of things that is to begin to manifest in the life of Christ, uh, in the life of our Lord and Savior, in the life uh, of the one that stepped across the rails of eternity, had the audacity to show up into time, manifest himself, uh, and put on a flesh jacket and walk humbly among men. Uh, it is interesting to the church uh, because one of the things we come to comprehend and articulate uh, is that the average person that sits within uh, the pews of ministry do not understand what the feast of the Passover really is. Uh, the average person do not understand uh, what the celebration of unleavened bread is all about. Uh, you may say to me, well, apostle, I'm dealing with Christianity uh, and that may be connected to what you call Jewish custom. Well, Christianity was birthed out of Jewish customs. Uh, and in order for you to get where you're going, uh, you need to know exactly where you've been. Uh, this is exactly why many of us, we are challenged with the discourse of directive. Uh, because we don't understand the historical artifacts of who we are. Uh, it is a tragedy when you cannot begin to understand what you were birthed out of. Uh, because you find yourself manifesting into some things uh, that has you extremely challenged. Uh, you wonder why it is that you cuss folks out. Uh, you wonder why it is that you're dealing with a sexy spirit. Uh, can't get it off of your mind. One and all of the time. Uh, you wonder why it is that you find yourself uh, hanging around in the meadows with a lackadaisical mentality. Totally unmotivated about life. Uh, you can't move forward. Can't go uh, to the next level. Can't tap into the next dimension. Can't grow. Can't flow. Uh, and can't begin to show in the things of the Holy Ghost. Uh, it's because of your past.